Welcome to the ChatGPT Masters course that includes other AI tools. Diego and I are so excited to have you here. And in this video, you're going to get a sneak peek of how these tools work. What will you learn in this class? Because it's more than just one class. We cover all kinds of tools in depth like ChatGPT, Google Bard, Midjourney, Dolly, and other AI tools specific to use cases like video production and more. And we're constantly adding and updating this class with any new features of these tools or new tools that come out we think you should know. Why are we teaching these skills to you? To save time, to save money, and to stay relevant and future-proof yourself. Whether you want to learn them for fun, for personal use, or if you run your own business or work for a company that wants you to learn these tools, this is the perfect course to learn it all. With all of that being said, let's jump into a sneak peek of how ChatGPT works. So to get started with ChatGPT, head over to openai.com, the team behind this tool, head up to product and ChatGPT. It's free to get started with, so you can just click the sign up button or log in if you already have an account. And the free version uses the older 3.5 version. GPT-4 is an updated version that but 3.5 is still pretty good if you want to just try it out for free. One of the updates that we will cover in this class that is really interesting is under settings, you can turn on the beta feature of web browsing, which connects ChatGPT to the internet, which means the responses it gives will include up-to-date information, which previously was limited to 2021 and 24. So make sure you turn that on. So the way this works is it's simply a chat like bot. At the bottom, you have a box where you can enter a message and then it will respond. On the left, you have your history of chats. If you just organize, you can click the new chat button at the top to create a new thread. Here are some quick examples of what I did. Say you're a video game company or a blog that writes about video games. I asked ChatGPT to write a list for someone interested in buying a PlayStation 5. And it provided a great list of 10 frequently asked questions that would be great to include on its website. I then prompted it, what are the top five most popular PlayStation 5 games? And because now it's connected to the internet and web browsing, it came up with a list of popular games as of right now when I'm recording this, May 16th. He's including references and sources that we can double check. What's great about ChatGPT is that you can go beyond this with follow-up prompts. I prompted it to write a 300-word promotional email with this list, encouraging subscribers to purchase them from its store, so it came up with a great template. I didn't like the subject line, so I asked it to write five more catchy subject lines that I could pick and choose from. And then I asked it to turn this email into an Instagram post with relevant emojis and then hashtag it. So you can see this fiery social media post that you can just click and copy and paste and of course edit and delete. That was just a hypothetical series of prompts that I gave ChatGPT. But what am I actually using this tool for myself? One example is here. I have this article on best lenses for wildlife photography. I put out this article years ago and I have dozens of articles like this and I've been meaning to update them myself, but I just don't have the time to do it. So what I did was I simply copy and pasted the text out of this article. I prompted ChatGPT, write this blog article, make it up to date with the latest lenses that are currently on the market, make it more SEO friendly with relevant keywords and phrases is that text of that article and then it came back with a nicely formatted and updated for 2023 guide with all the new and latest lenses that people may be interested in this literally took a minute or two in the background while i was doing something else again saving me time and money and also helping me to serve my audience even better so that's chat gpt and hopefully your brain is spinning on all the ways that you could start to use it we're going to cover how to get started, some top tips for writing better prompts later on in this section. And then, of course, we have the full course that's going to dive in so much deeper. Now let's head over to Midjourney, an amazing AI art generator tool, which can create 
images, photos, all kinds of art like you see here. Here is my profile on Midjourney. You can see the vast amount of styles and detail and just different things you can do with this tool. From this image here, free cookies, playing Monopoly, to a different style of that same prompt, vector graphic style, photorealistic images like this one, to this impressionist oil painting. So those are just some examples of what I've done in the past. I wanted to create something specific to what I was prompting ChatGPT. So maybe I needed an image for that wildlife photography lens guide. So here is one, which this is on Discord, which is the tool that Midjourney is built on top of that we use to create these images. And it's a little bit more confusing to get started, but you'll learn everything in this class. So here's a wildlife photographer in the forest smiling at his camera and at the 16 by nine aspect ratio, which is an advanced little prompt tip that you'll learn in this class. Here's one related to the PlayStation game. So I just simply prompted it two friends playing games. I didn't give it a style or anything. So it gave me some photorealistic images, some illustration digital art style. I wanted a more specific style. So I reprompted it as a flat vector image of two friends playing on PlayStation. And whenever you do a prompt, you get four different variations. From there, you can choose one you wanna use to upscale and get that image, or you can build variations off of what you quite like. I really like this top right one, and this is something that could be used for social media or whatever. So that's just a sneak peek at Midjourney and some of the things we can do with it. I hope you're excited about jumping into the next lesson. We are so excited for teaching you tools. So head over to the next lesson and see you there. Thanks, guys.